since it's October. I thought I'd share a little story with you. Warning, this story may or may not be a crime or feature a corpse. Just click off the video if you're a pussy. Moving forward. This gameplay means jack shit to me. So ignore it. It's just another Resident Evil gameplay. Nothing fucking special. Just getting chased by more blacks. So, the story starts with me and my old crew back in Italy. I was about 16. Just a few weeks before I moved to America. A friend of mine, who went by Chico, wanted to go grave robbing for Halloween that year. Why the fuck not? It's not like I was doing shit that night, anyways. I was planning on fapping while watching Friday the 13th movies. But his plan sounded a lot more exotic. The graveyard was about four hours away. We left around 4 p.m. On the way there, we stopped at a gas station. There were five of us. We needed to get gas and lighter fluid for torches. Because using cell phones as light in a graveyard is too mainstream. While Robert was paying for the fluid, I started getting tired. I sat down at the little slot machine. Chico was all, what's your deal Violet? Yes, in Italy, I'm known as Violet. While in America, I'm called Vita. Why is that? That's another story for another day. So fucking Chico, gave me a white tablet and said, wake the fuck up girl. This is going to be fun as fuck, for us all. I trusted that faggot, and swallowed the tablet. I woke the fuck up in about two minutes. Now, I was stoked. Chico and Robert were laughing at me the whole time. I can't remember much, but according to Rob, I couldn't keep my shirt on. No surprise. As we arrived at the graveyard, Chico looked at a map. He was looking for a specific grave of some douchebag who stole from his grandfather. The man swore he would take his riches to the grave. Let's put that bullshit to the test then. By the way, we walked around the cemetery for two hours, looking for the son of a bitch. As we got closer, I started getting more and more clumsy. When Chico found the grave, it began to thunder. He, Rob and one other, started digging the grave quickly. The heavy wind, started blowing out the torches. Spooky. Mine was barely lit, but I passed it over because I felt dizzy. I think that tablet, which I'm beginning to suspect was a drug, was fading. Five feet into the grave, it began to drizzle. They had better hurry. The wind was getting very ominous. It was perfect as they opened the coffin. Six feet of haunted spirits had been set free. Chico took the ring from the corpse finger. It was his grandfather's ring. His grandfather was some kind of mobster. The ring was so important to Chico because it had his name carved in it. Chico being his only grandson. I was touched. Then I slipped in the mud and fell into the grave. Yes. Face fucking first. I practically kissed a dead body. Chico and Rob jump scared, like little bitches. I was pissed that I fell in. But more pissed that I was in a grave and it started fucking raining. As I screamed profanity the likes of which anyone has ever heard, the thunder got louder. We got out of the grave. Then, Chico nudges me and said, see. Fun right? I pushed him back into the fucking grave. Anyways, we managed to get all the dirt back into the grave before the rain got too heavy. While leaving the cemetery, we heard sirens. So we split up. Chico and I went the opposite direction of the way we came in. As we hid behind a tree, I took this opportunity to quietly yell at him. Chico told me to chill out. 
I said, fuck you, you always get me into this kind of shit. Under the influence, in a graveyard. What's next? He said, you could, be naked. Really? This motherfucker. Having drunk, bareback sex in a cemetery is one of my top five fantasies. But, now is not the time motherfucker. Beside, Chico was like my brother, now is Yura on the other hand. Listen to me, talking about sex. How did this happen? So, Chico and I snuck back to the car that he hid in the bushes near the freeway, and we were off. Quite the night. In fact, Chico died of cancer three years ago. So in a way, this fits the theme of October in more than one way. Not breast cancer anyways. But still. I have the ring, now. And I wear it around my neck, every day. The end. I kissed a dead body. Fucking gross. Oh, and if you're up for risky, scary, thrilling sex. Hit me up bitches. Oops. End video.